In out. have low back pain? Is it preventing you from being able to hit those PRs at the gym? Follow along as we treat Ashley who's been dealing with some low back pain on and off. All right, we're going to start first with let me have you stand up. All right, how far can you bend over before you feel the back tighten up today? It doesn't hurt that way. Okay, what do we got in extension? Definitely at that end range, yeah. tight a little bit. Anything side to side? Right there. Okay. Other side. Probably on that side. All right. So what I'm going to have you do is you're going to go face down. We're going to throw some lotion on the low back here. Good. Throw some lotion cups on. Let me know if this is too intense. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do first is try to loosen up the low back with a little bit of cupping with some movement in here. So she is a crossfitter and also works at a dentist office. Are you a, you're a hygienist, mm -hmm. aren't you? Yeah, so lots of lots of sitting all day and then going under heavy loads. Good. Cross over that side. Let me know if it's too intense, okay? okay? With moving the cups, we're just trying to bring some really good blood flow to the area and also just loosen it up so we can get some better movement in the joints when we adjust her. Good. So at our office, we always do the big three some sort of muscle work, whether it's cupping, active release, grasping. Get some WD-40 in those joints with the adjustment. And then we'll show you at the end how we load up that low back. Awesome. Perfect. Good. All right. I'm going to have you go through some of the extensions, okay? okay. Perfect. Come up to that pain point for me. Good. And then back down. So at first you could see when we checked everything, she had full flexion. Let me have you keep going. Okay. But at that end range extension, she would get a little bit stuck. So we're trying to work face down with gravity um, taken out of the equation. Work on loosening everything up at that end range. Let me see what you got. About three or four more. Good. A couple more. Good. One more. Good. All right. On your side, face me. Let's loosen up these hips a little bit. We're going to go here. Do three or four that way. Then we're going to go down and in. Good. Good. Two. Good, perfect. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, up and in. So with this, we're doing active release to the glutes and also working her piriformis. When the low back gets overworked, the hips get super tight trying to protect it. Good, all right, so we're gonna put you in a pretzel, just like that, perfect. Good, I'm gonna bring you up and over. Good. All right. Deep breath in. All the way out. Perfect. Good. On your back. With the adjustment again, we're just putting some WD-40 back in those joints. Good. Let me have you slide down a little bit. Perfect. All right. Deep breath in. In and out. Good. In and out. Yes, we need it. This side. Here and up. Good. Same thing. Up and then in. Good. One more. Perfect. 
All right. So again, with the active release, we are trying to loosen up the hips. Let's get some joints, get some WD-40 back in those joints. Good. Deep breath in and out. Good. All right, let me have you uh, stand up. We're going to recheck everything. Anything? I can, it just starts to feel like. Tight at the end range there? Bit, yeah. Side to side, anything? Feels better that way. Awesome. All right, last thing we're going to do is end with the laser, and then we'll get you out in the gym and go through some exercises. So uh, let me have you go face down one more time. So right here, chronic, average. The laser speeds up the healing process by bringing blood flow to the area. So we're gonna do about five or six minutes with the laser and then we're gonna load up the low back. All right, so we're starting with the banded overhead. The biggest thing that she's gonna focus on is keeping that back flat. So band goes around the feet. We're gonna bring the band all the way up like this, keeping that back flat the whole time. We're gonna use this as a warm up. Once we finish that one, we're gonna throw in some reverse hypers to load up the low back and build up that capacity. So we're just like this on the belly, kicking up like that. 